Right, so this is lesson four of our Flatpak Furniture Home Learning Project. Uh, this is the last bit of research you're going to be doing. Um, designing flatpak furniture can be actually a real challenge. Uh, actually designing a, a bit of furniture that doesn't flat pack is probably a lot easier. What I'd like you to look into today are ways in which you can uh, furniture can be put together and then taken apart so it can be flat packed. There are lots of benefits of flat pack furniture. For example, it can be transported a lot easier. Uh, it it uh, can be put away in the house and, and uh, actually not out all the time. So there's lots of uh, reasons why people buy pieces of flat pack furniture. What I would like you to look into today is how this can be done. Okay, so there are lots of ways. Uh, I, I, an example over here of things that slot together, uh, fixings, fixtures, what, what, how they make it stay together, maybe more permanently, perhaps with screws or clips. Uh, and I'd really like you today to actually have a look into how um, and different methods in which um, flat pack furniture is manufactured and how it, it weighs different ways it can go together. OK, so again, uh, this is another mood board, uh, mood board um, exercise where but this time really concentrating how on actually the flat pack element, how we can take a bit of furniture, take it apart, put it into a box, as you can see in the image down here. Uh, and that's going to be really important for your designs, which we're going to be starting in the coming lessons. OK, it's all very well being able to design a chair or a table or a a lamp or whatever bit of furniture you end up designing but we need we really need to think about actually how it's going to be put together how it be constructed and taken apart to um, really focus on the flat pack element so what I'd like you to do on the fourth page of your presentation I would like you to create a, another mood board with uh, a variety of different images that inspire you uh, making sure that they are relevant to flat pack uh, I would like you to annotate them in detail, explaining how they've been put together, how you take them apart, what fixtures, what materials they've used, uh, and all different things like that. Okay, so another one, the last bit of research we're doing today, uh, a bit of mood board, are looking into the flat pack element. Once you've completed the mood board uh, and annotated it, please load it onto the uh, next assignment for, uh, for Teams, and uh, then we will uh, have a look at what you've done. Thank you.